we are now ready to program and machine our third operation. From our demo part print, you will see that we have four defined through holes with center locations. Our tool for this operation is a half inch diameter drill. Let's begin by changing to our required tool for this operation. From the main menu, press T, followed by 7, and press cycle start. The axis should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. Select the drilling cycle key. Confirm that you are on level one. If you are not on level one, use the level key to toggle between different levels. X is the center of your first hole on X axis. Type one inch, press enter to continue. Y is the center of your first hole on Y axis. Type minus one inch, press enter to continue. ZS, this is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Press enter to continue. Z. This is the starting point on Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it will be 0.8 inches. Press enter to continue. I. This is the amount we will be drilling per pass. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.2, meaning it will take four depths of cut to get to its final depth. Press enter to continue. T is the dwell time at the bottom of the hole. In this case, it is zero. Press enter to continue. Use the half key to select if you want coolant off or coolant on during the machining process. In this case, we will select coolant off. Press enter to continue. F, this is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we will be using a value of 16 inches per minute. Press enter to continue. S, this is your spindle speed. In this example, we will be using a value of 2800 RPMs. Press enter to continue. Use the half key if you want the spindle to turn clockwise or counterclockwise. For this example, we will select clockwise. Press enter to continue. T is your tool number. In this example, we are using tool seven. Press enter to continue. D is your tool offset number. In this example, we are using offset seven. Press enter to continue. Now combine the simple drilling operation with the rectangular position cycle. Press the rectangular position icon key to continue. You will notice that it takes our feed rates, total depth and spindle speed and tool information from our previous cycle. X1 and Y1 are also taken from our previous cycle information. This is our first hole in our drilling operation. Press enter twice to continue. Use the half key to select the operations one of three. Once selected, press enter to continue. LX, this is the length from our first hole on X axis to the last hole on X axis. In this example, it is four inches. Press enter to continue. LY, this is the length from your first hole on Y axis to your last hole on Y axis. In this example, it is minus four inches. Press enter to continue. And X, this is your total number of holes along the X axis. This operation requires two holes. Press enter to continue. And Y is your total number of holes along the Y axis. This operation requires two holes. Press enter to continue. The value in this field must be entered in degrees. A value is entered in this field when you are machining a part on an inclination angle. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. This is the angle between the sides. In this example, we will be using a value of 90 degrees. Press enter to continue. Let's confirm the cycle in solid graphics so we can check for errors. Select the graphics icon key. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. The process should complete with no errors. Press the escape key to go back one menu. At this time, continue and save the program.
press the P program key. At this point, we should still be under the program we have created. If not, navigate back to the program. Once there, press Enter to insert the drilling cycle and rectangular grid pattern operation into the program. To execute the cycle, press Escape twice. You now see that there is a Cycle Start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press Cycle Start button to begin executing the cycle. You will need to increase the feed rate after pressing the Cycle Start. If gear ranges are an option on your machine, you may be prompted to change to the correct gear, change gear, and press Enter to continue. Slowly turn up the feed rate so the execution can continue. To see additional information while the program is being executed, use the half key to toggle between basic and advanced screen.